Hey, how's it going everybody? It is Mike and today we're going to be taking a look at this NUE um, power adapter for LED lights. Let me get my face out of the picture. Maybe I can get it to focus for you. There it is. That's the adapter. That's what it looks like. You can pick these up on Amazon for about anywhere between $26 and $30 on Amazon. I believe they're also called A3 is uh, the other name for it. And then uh, NUE actually is the company that sells them on Amazon or at least the company that I bought this one from. And the cool thing about this device is it will work with LED RGBW strip lights and Philips Hue. So you can use this instead of buying the $80 strip lights from Philips Hue, you can buy one of these boxes for under $30, buy a couple spools. And I think this will do up to two spools um, on one device, you're going to have to count out your amperage here. So this has a max of 15 amps. So you got to count out, depends on how many LEDs you have here. Um, but it, about two of the 16 foot spools, so 32 feet of LED tape, um, RGBW on one of these boxes. So that is, that is pretty awesome. And uh, obviously you need a power supply that be able to handle the 15 amps. I think I have a five amp power supply here. So it's a really nice replacement um, if you didn't want to spend the extra money on the Philips Hue stuff and you wanted to get uh, something a little bit cheaper and still get the be able to use the Hue app, still have it work with Alexa, still have it work with don't know, don't, I, I said her name, she lit up back there. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and plug this in and I can kind of show you how it works. Um, it was really easy to connect, so we'll give it the power here and then we'll connect the wires to it. Now, just so you know, the, the wires coming out of it doesn't come with these. I bought these separately and terminated them, so I had a nice, easy plug for it. You could also cut the end off and directly terminate it to the box if you would like. So right now it's in white. We will give it a second to actually connect back to the Philips Hue network. We'll see if it was that quick to connect to the network. It's the on and off, and then I can select it. And then if I go around here, you can just kind of see as I'm changing the colors, it is changing the colors of, I think I had my hand in front of it. There we go. Let's get this a little bit better. It is changing the color of the strip as you move it around. So it's a pretty cool little device. The only problem that I actually had with this device is that two of the wires were wired backwards. I guess it's probably wired backwards internally in this box. And it was the green and the red wire. So I ended up flopping the green and the red wire and, uh, it ended up working fine because the colors you'd go to red and it'd be green. So I figured it was green and red wire, swap the two wires. And now when you're on red, it's actually red and not green. So a pretty easy thing or pretty easy fix for ch such a cheap device. So um, that's it. I just kind of wanted to show you this little hack that I found a way to add um, a lot of LED lights to an area for, for cheap. And that will still work with all your other smart devices. Um, oh, well, it is a smart device. It will still work with the Philips Hue app. Um, you open the app, you hit connect, and it connects. I mean, it was really simple to get going. And, you know, the other strips are great. If you only have um, a, a small section, I think it comes in four-foot pieces. So if you only have a four-foot piece to do, I would probably go ahead. Like, I'm building a floating entertainment center in the living room, which I'll make another video on later. Um, I'm going to put LEDs, on, on LEDs under that, and I'll probably just buy the Philips Hue when it goes on sale for $67 instead of going this route with it because it gets up there in price. It's really when you want to do the long runs that I think it's worth buying a box like this. If you need to do 16 feet of this, I just did some underneath some shelves here in my office. I had to cut it and solder it. And I'm gonna tell you what, soldering these things are, they're a chore to solder these. I've never soldered um, such small, so such a small connector onto these, um, but it, it works really well. So if this is something you're interested in or you're interested in Philips Hue, because Philips Hue stuff is really awesome. I just wish that the LEDs were a little bit more, a little little cheaper, a little more accessible. They're, they're, they're really pricey for what they are, especially when I can buy a spool of 16 feet of LED tape for like 10 bucks on Amazon, then I can get this for $30. I'm in it for 40 bucks and I have 16 feet where it's gonna cost me $80 or $90 when it's not on sale for four feet and then another, I think, 20 or $30 for a couple of foot uh, extra strand to connect to it. So they're a little pricey. Um, cool little hack that I found. So hey, check it out. This is the NUE device. Um, I like it. I've had it for a few weeks now. I've had a chance to play with it. It works really well. Um, anyway, I hoped you liked this video. And if you did, hit that like button down below. And if you'd like to see more videos from me, please subscribe to my channel. Thanks.